What's up guys, I wanna make a quick video to show you how to find the fastest routes to the pools of reflection on the map so that you can level your character quicker and uh, move along faster in the game. So uh, if we look at the game right now here, uh, we have uh, a blue bar right here. That means I have no pools of reflection yet, um, but what these do is they give you a 25% bonus uh, when you kill enemies and so on so that you can level your character faster. So what a lot of the best uh, players are doing is they are uh, getting big stacks of these pools, then going out and running high GR content, and thereby getting their character a much higher Paragon level. Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit higher than like 1400. I play a little bit, but it really helps to get those Paragon levels. So let's get to it. Um, right now I have on my uh, speed build. So whatever character you are, you don't need to be Barbarian, you can be whatever. Um, get into that speed build and let's get started. Going first to Leorc's Manor here. Uh, I think everyone kind of knows this one. Um, there's always going to be two on the map, and uh, as we go along here, by the way, when I say there's one or two or whatever, that basically means that there's going to be a space where a pool of reflection might be. So, uh, for example, got one right here, and if we can see up at the top there, um, there was a another pool, got three on this map so far. Um, each map has a certain number of spots, there's sometimes one over there as well, has a certain number of spots. Uh, where it's either going to be a pool of reflection, a pool that has, there's this right here, um, uh, a health pool, or a uh, shrine. So on that last one we traversed from, got one right here, that's the very common one, everyone knows that one. Uh, on that last one we had a, uh, went from Leorc's Manor over to uh, Northern Highlands, right there, so traversed across it. Um, there's two in uh, that Leorx area, about three in Northern Highlands, and there's sometimes one down there at the bottom, which we already got. Right now I'm in Cave of the Moon Clan in Southern Highlands. We already got the one outside. Sometimes there's two out on the map, but I don't really usually bother trying to find it. In Cave of the Moon Clan, uh, where we are right now, there's two on this level. Found the second one right here. And then there's going to be one in the uh, level beneath us. So we're going to go down, grab that one, and move along. Sorry, by the way, if this is going kind of fast, um, but... That's the kind of point of this right here, is for us to move quickly. So, just got one right here. I'm not going to bother checking the rest of the map because we already found the one we were looking for. And there's always only one there, so makes it easy. Uh, next up, Cemetery of the Forsaken. This next one's kind of dicey. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But it is helpful because there's never, or almost never, any enemies here. So we're just going to check the entrances to these three. There's also sometimes one out here uh, on the uh, little map area, but not always. And like I said, this one's kind of dicey. There isn't always, if, if it's gonna be here, it's gonna be in this little front area. So we were not lucky this time, unfortunately. Uh, Festering Woods here is next. So hopefully this is all kind of making sense. Um, obviously there's a lot of like RNG with this that like you maybe, maybe not will find one in these like given spots, but that's really what we're looking for is easy to find spots where we know there's gonna be um, know there's going to be something there, and whether it's a pool of reflection, there's going to be two in here, one there and then one down here. Got one. There's either going to be a pool of reflection or it's going to be one of those other two, and so hopefully, let's just say that we come across like 30 of these and one out of three. Got the one outside here. Usually when there's one outside, that means that in the, uh, I don't know, Hall of the Ancients, whatever this next thing is, it's always so hard to find. I think it's in that little blind spot that we missed right over here. Yeah. Um, usually when that one's outside, there's not one in this middle area, right? So usually there's one right here, but there's not because it was outside. Just want to get away here so we can find a safe warping out space. Uh, next we're going to go to Royal Crypts. Whoops. Thought I was there. So yeah, like I was saying, like if we come across, say, 30 or so or 40 of these spots, like if one out of three is there, then we've already got the number we need. Usually on this, there's going to be about two. It helps too that most of the guys on this level are pretty easy, and there are also a lot of destructibles, which makes uh, procking our Orzechian arm guards a little bit faster. And I am uh, also trying to kill some of the guys here. Um, oh, very interesting. Looks like we didn't get any. I really kind of want to kill this guy because gems are always useful, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to need to kill these guys right here just so I can warp out safely. Hopefully we can get out of here. There we go. 
Yeah, uh, I'm also, as a note, doing this on T13. Uh, you certainly don't need to. You can do this on normal, you can do it on T10, uh, whatever you want. The only reason, so there's going to be one up here, usually in this little area before on like this bottom level of Howling Plateau, there's almost always one, if not two, at that bottom level. Um, and by the way, you can go like either direction on this. There's always one on the map, the map's just really big, and I don't always really kind of run around and try to find it. Um, sometimes there's one like halfway up on that left side, but it's just usually not worth the time to go try to find it. There's always one right here, always one right here, and then there's one more. Usually that little area has one, that little like pedestal thing, but we were not lucky this time. Trying to find that last one. Sometimes it's right there, it's going to be in this middle part here. Oh, it's making me a liar. What I miss is watch it be in this little area right here. What do you think? Maybe I'm wrong. These things, oh, it's gonna be like a chest. Sometimes it's a chest, which is kind of weird to me, but yeah, whatever. Okay, next up, Road to Alcarnus. Usually there's like one or two here. It really kind of depends. It's weird because sometimes they like sub it out with like a body or something. Um, so I was check down here first and then swing back up here. It might be that there's like some other spot like way to the far left over there, um, but I usually don't bother checking just because it's just not worth the time. Okay, so that's the one here. So because that healing one was there, that means usually, yeah, so there's a second one. So it's funny, like sometimes you'll see just one, sometimes two. One reason I don't particularly like this spot is because it's a little bit difficult to warp out of here when you need to. Actually, let's go to Bastion's Keep first. I'm going to the wrong spot here, but notice how like we almost died there, right? <laughs> oh, that would have been so embarrassing. Okay, so we're going to the battlefields here. This one's really quick and easy. Um, there's usually one right up here. Got it. And then sometimes there's another one right up here too. So you either get one or two on here. Um, always, almost always, at least one. Okay. Um, just checking, just right here. That's either going to be a body or it's going to be a pool. That was a uh, bridge of course six, so it's just these three in the top area. This one I usually run the whole thing. Um, I think there's like two or three on the map, but uh, if you're trying to get gold, which I'm not like hard up for gold, I think I've got something like 20 billion, but uh, I try to always uh, kick down the extra little bit uh, for uh, when running GRs to, uh, to get the extra roll on the gem, just because it helps. So uh, this is a great, very easy place. Plus two, there's like tons of destructibles on this map. There's tons of easy to kill enemies. So there's always like a lot of ways to like really kind of blaze through this. And the map is always the same. So it's easy just to like run straight through. Okay, that's weird. We're not lucky this time. It's okay, not lucky every time. Uh, next up, going to uh, this Sidious place. Again, right here, Tower of the Curse level 1. This is just to see one spot right here. Sometimes that's a pool, sometimes not. Uh, so you can really check Tower of the Dams. Those are decent. I find it's just a little bit too, takes a little bit too long to kind of get around. So, Act 4, uh, Realm of Fractured Fate. It's the kind of the one on the left side here. This one is like probably one of the best ones a lot of people don't really know about. Um, this left side here uh, doesn't usually have one, which is kind of weird, it makes this a big spot. This area directly in front has two, so one, two. Um, this whole area has something like 10 or 12 or something, so it's really strong. Like if you can't find one here, it's like a really unusual game, but you never know. There's another one. There's gonna be another one over it's like a chest this time. Sometimes it's a chest, but I feel like it's kind of common. I almost missed this one right here. Got it. Chest. Pool. Another pool. There's a gem goblin. Um, this whole uh, thing, by the way, there's a little chest area here. This actually is the uh, kind of last one. We could kind of keep going up that little stairway to the left there, but there's never one up there. The only reason I'm killing these guys is just so I can warp out safely. I wouldn't normally stick around like this. And for the DBs, of course. Uh, next up, Lower Realm of Something Fate. And this is going to be the last area. We're going to traverse here from the lower level to like the upper level or whatever. Another quick, easy one right here. There's almost never one in these little side areas. This is a great uh, area too. I wasn't usually checking this one, but 
I really kind of like it now just because, again, lots of destructibles and uh, the enemies are really easy to kill. Um, so it's pretty easy to kind of collect gold if you're like really hard up for it. Not usually one right here. Um, there's also, by the way, like a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, uh, the resplendent chests. There's at least two. Um, so maybe even like early season this could be a thing to uh, go and check through these for like extra gear or something. Usually there's like one right here, but not always. Yeah, I haven't quite really figured out like what their um, what the kind of placements are on this, and usually there's one like right around here, but not this time. I think we're just getting like chests and whatnot instead, which is kind of annoying. Man, this is like a really weak run. So got a fleeting shrine right there. This, by the way, it's very easy to get, like, a super massacre bonus on this if you're trying to do that. Like, I'm already at, like, 300 or so without trying. On this right area, I'm gonna check. Like, there's hardly ever one over here, but, you know, occasionally. And plus two, I feel like we kind of got shafted there on the kind of lead up to this, so... Maybe. And again, I'm just kind of killing these guys just uh, for the gold bonus, by the way. Not only do I get the gold, but it also helps the uh, movement speed, so that's, uh, that's really nice for us. So, got a uh, spot right there. And I think this might end up being it for us for the run. Um, I don't think we're going to get any more, but I feel like that was decent, right? Let's go back to New Tristram here. I think that was everything. Don't think we missed much. So, where'd that leave us here? So, s 76 billion out of... We started at zero, right? So, 76 billion out of 97 uh, billion. So, that's like three quarters of the way. We can go run like a cow and just, I think everyone knows about this, right? You put like a little bovine bardiche in the thing, transmutes, yes, opens up. And then there's gonna be two in here. Um, so we'll go ahead and try to find that. Um, there's always two. No more, no less. I gotta be really careful because that like big mama one, uh, one shots me. <laughs> this build's not very strong. Like my other one that like I use for pushing and stuff is super strong, but I can like one shot her, but this is, uh, this is relatively soft. Just looking for the pools now, not for anything else. Anytime now. There we go. One. Oh god. <laughs> Dude, you like that? How she like warps on top of me? Like it's just, like asking to die. Where is it? No, got the Sinisal area right here. No. As I'm like, there's always two. I'm being like really surprised. There we go. Always two, just like I said. Just like I said. So yeah, let's get back out before we embarrassingly die. And so where's that now? So, look at that, boom. Practically a full experience bar, right? If we look at the, uh, the whole thing here. Uh, and that's off of just one run. And, you know, excluding the cow level, of course, I think that took like seven-ish minutes or something like that. So yeah, um, hopefully that is uh, helpful for folks. Uh, I've been using that for quite a bit. It makes it really easy to kind of stack up those pools before you go run like GR content, assuming you're not gonna die and lose them. Uh, but it really helps you love your character a lot faster. So um, that's it for the whole uh, run for the uh, pools and whatnot. Uh, right now I'm gonna take a little bit of time and just go through my build really quick for anyone's got a barbarian or is thinking of rolling one and you know likes the idea of like really speeding around the map with whirlwind. Um, everybody else that's running different characters and stuff, there's lots of other really good builds for it. Witch Doctor or Chicken Build, Monk can dash around all over the place, etc, etc. Okay, um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's get into the Barbarian build. So, uh, I'm running this uh, with the Waste set. Um, I do have some, like, good gear. I think I've got, like, three Primals, but, like, the gear really doesn't matter. Like I said, you can run this thing on normal, and there's, like, zero difference aside from the gold. So, I mean, plus two, like, the experience you're getting from killing the guys is, like, trivial. So, um, so yeah, uh, it's the waist set, I think the full six piece here, right? And then, um, wait, one, two, three, four, five, five piece? No, six piece, I can't count. Uh, so six piece of that, um, and you can definitely, you don't need the, whatever these gems. This is super flexible, just do whatever you want. Um, I'm running a chill chain here just so that the war cry gives us an extra movement speed bonus. Um, the whole purpose of this is just to move fast. So, uh, chill chain, war cry gives us a movement speed bonus of 40%. Um, I'm running Hellfire Amulet, whichever one you want to do. Or actually an Arm Guard's critical here, so every time you destroy a destructible, it gives you a burst of speed, which is nice. 
Avarice Band allows you to pick up gold and everything else, which again allows you to move faster. I'm running Wreath of Lightning in this, which when that procs, makes you move faster uh, by 25% or whatever. Uh, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, that helps me uh, recharge all my skills so I can cast them more often so I can move faster. This one's kind of necessary. Uh, Boon of the Hoarder, partly for the gold, which I was talking about, but also every time you pick up gold, it uh, makes you run faster by 30%. Uh, I think that's it. I'm running the Bulkathos here. Nothing special. Totally normal. This is just so I can kill guys. Um, and I think that increased movement speed on that, but like these are super common. Uh, in the cube, I've got a Furnace so I can kill dudes. There's definitely better movement speed options, but like for a while I was trying to kill elites to get more DBs, so you can definitely trade this out. I'm sure there's an option for it. Uh, I'm running Mantle of Channeling. Mantle of Channeling. Just because on T13, like, I really don't want to die. Like, that'd be really annoying. Um, this, so this gives me some damage mitigation and also increased damage. Um, a good option in there, if you're, like, totally safe, is probably, like, Cram's Buff Belt, which gives, like, a 25% movement speed. I think that'd be pretty strong. Again, Skullgrass, so that I can really mill guys down at T13. Um, there's probably some other good option you could run for rings, but I find this one works fine for me. Um, and you guys saw how the, the build ran. Um, looking at the skills. Uh, Whirlwind, obviously, Wind Shear. Wind Shear so that we get uh, Fury. Looking like Rage Fury. So we get Fury back. Um, Battle Rage here. Uh, this gives us a movement speed bonus, the Ferocity rune. Sprint Marathon. I'm constantly casting this. Uh, Warcry Charge. Warcry gives us the movement speed bonus because of the belt. Um, another, by the way, option, now that I think about it, for... Uh, the uh, armor here is to run. Um, uh, what's the other one? Um, sorry, <laughs> uh, Pride of Cassius increases the duration of Ignore Pain. The Ignore Pain rune we're running gives movement speed, so you could run that also. Uh, sorry, so going back to it anyway. Uh, movement speed on this, right? Um, charge, uh, increased armor. That really you can run whichever one doesn't really matter. Uh, ignore Pain uh, bravado. Uh, when Ignore Pain is active, forty percent movement speed, of course. Uh, Wrath of Berserker Insanity, um, increased everything, but especially movement speed, 20%, definitely need it. Uh, Pound of Flesh, when you pick up a globe or something, uh, increased movement speed. That's also helped by the Aberst Band, so we're picking up lots of stuff, so that's always kind of proccing uh, for us, which is great. Brawler just helps us kill guys. Um, and by the way, like, killing guys is partly too, so we get the gold, which helps us move faster because Boon of the Horde. Uh, Boonable Kathos just lets us use Wrath of Berserker more often. Uh, and then Rampage, again, helps us kill guys. You could probably even use, like, Berserker Rage, because you're usually, it's sort of near top. Um, plenty of these are fine. Most of these passives are super, like, the only ones you really need for, for the speed are um, Pound of Flesh and Boonable Kathos, so you get this. But the rest of it's, it's pretty flexible. And, you know, like, do whichever one you want. Like, don't let me tell you this is the only build you can use. This is just, for me, I found to be the most useful. And like I said, I could probably get, like, one or two little points higher if I made myself a bit softer. But I found that this one works just fine. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. Um, really appreciate you guys checking out my video. Hopefully you get tons and tons of pools of reflection off of this. And have a great day. See ya.